We're now just a few weeks away from the F1 2022 Wister testing and the F1 store has released all new lines celebrating the 2022 Chinese New Year. First of all, we've also now got the 2022 McLaren fanware drop has finally been revealed. There's still different merch available from every team and now there's 20% off any lines on the store as well if you use the code currently on your screens. Click the links down below if you want to go check it out. Welcome then to the United Arab Emirates, our F2 drivers are on the grid and we're moments away from lights out for the start of the Formula 2 Abu Dhabi race. So the Yas Marina circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. The team absolutely spot on there. They know what we need to do in this final sprint race of the year. Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back for the penultimate race of our Oscar Piastri F2 career mode. Of course, yeah, championship permutations. You know, if you went back, go back and check out yesterday's video if you haven't already. It's pretty simple. Liam Lawson, who starts directly in front of us, needs to outscore us by five points in this final sprint. Otherwise, we'll head into the feature race tomorrow with the championship all mathematically wrapped up there. Constructors-wise... High Tech have a 17-point lead over us at Premier at the moment, so we're really going to have to try and pull our finger out if we want to try and take home the Constructors' Championship as well. But yeah, things looking pretty simple. Lawson, he needs to finish, what, 5th, 6th or higher there or thereabouts? Yeah, he needs to gain 5 points over me in this final sprint of the year there. But like I said, if you missed out yesterday's video, go back and check it out though. But we're ready on the grid for the final sprint then of the year here in Abu Dhabi. Waiting on those five red lights and it is gonna be long hole but lights out and away we go. As that's not been the best start in the world as we head down in towards turn one. Boshong as well. Plenty of contact actually as we head down in towards turn one there. Got completely boxed in and I think Schwartzman's bad weekend goes from bad to worse there. It's a tiny bit of front wing damage for our teammate there. Nothing any of us could really do. Boshong, I think, broke, yeah, a little bit earlier than I was expecting. But even if he hadn't, Schwartzman was going to go into me there. Somehow we've come out of it scot-free. Going to try and keep the nose up the inside of Ralph Boshong there as we head down in towards the next chicane. Back up the inside of Vent uh, Viscal as well there. As now we've got all three championship rivals there. Fittipaldi, I think... Is, yeah, Fittipaldi is now mathematically out of it. 47 points back with 44 points available. But yeah, the three championship protagonists, 11th, 12th and 13th, are right in the middle of the order here as we head down the back straight on lap one. Can we have a look to the outside of Fittipaldi? No, we'll try and do the switch back, the old up and under on the exit there as we try and roll back on the power on the exit. Fireworks out in the middle of the day before the race has even got going there, so not too sure what that's all about but an eventful lap one then somehow we have come out of it all just about in one piece it's a big big send up the inside of Liam Lawson there thank you very much as well attack the curbs through the final sector of the lap but yes Samaya making big big progress there straight up into P10 on this opening lap but Lawson and myself now right next to each other and I mean we could just sit back theoretically and just follow Lawson around for the rest of the Grand Prix but you guys know me we want to try and end this season on a high here. You know, if we can try and claw back some more places in this second sprint, I will be very, very happy there. He's right in the final couple of corners. Jay Andaruvula leads at the end of lap one there after taking his first podium of the year last weekend out in Abu... D uh, sorry, in Saudi Arabia even, I should say. Yeah, interesting lap one though. Fittipaldi really, really struggling by the looks of it. He's got Bent Viscal trying to pull off some moves. But yeah, P12 to P12... There's a nice big snap of oversteer on the exit of Turn 1. Let's see if we can try and close up to Lawson, though, as we head through the next few corners there. We've always been super, super strong through this first sector. And look at that rolling up to the back. We've said it many, many times before, but I'd much rather see that road in Cars logo behind us in this race rather than in front. There's all a little bit of contact, actually, 
between myself and Lawson there. He was just a little bit slow right on the apex when I wasn't expecting it. Are we going to be able to get a run down the back straight though? I think we're a little too far back at the moment. We are starting now to gain a little bit on Liam Lawson. But I think, yeah, he's going to hold on for now. Is he? We say that. We found a move to the outside. And thank you very much. We will say yes, please. And we're now back up into P11 then. And that could be... The championship winning move there. A bit of an unexpected one. Nice move. Team love that though, and so do I. Thing is, as well, we've got to remember it's not just about the championship in the drivers. We want to try and win the constructors' championship as well for Prima. And that means we need to try and beat both high techs in this uh, second sprint race of the weekend. There, Lawson and Schwartzman likely not to be scoring points anymore, but we have still got Yuri Vips, who's a little further up the road as we're trying to close back up to Gilamisa Meyer. There, there is Yuri Vips up in P8. So he could be pulling out another point advantage over us if the race was to finish now. But are we going to be able to get a run down the second DRS straight then on Gilamisa Meyer? We are slowly but surely gaining on the Brazilian. We've pulled off many, many moves on him over the course of the year. But like some of you have pointed out before, somehow I seem to find myself behind him in a lot of race weekends as well there. So think of that whatever you will. But not quite close enough to make a move that time and that's not going to help us still throws me off from time to time the fact that Sharuz has got a Tesla logo on the back of it of course not yeah, not not that Tesla it must be added but closing in now on Gilami Samaya once more I'm going to try and go for a big big brave move this time around there going for the Verstappen style move in the end Samaya spots it though and backs out and that was a beautiful little send on Gilami Samaya if I do say so myself now up into 10th place then of this race. Poor Chair and Vips just up the road. We need to beat Vips in this one. We need to push him out of the points as all Samaya. Got to give him the room. Force him to the outside though. And yeah, we do hang on. Oh, there we go. New fast slap. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Dip it back down into the one minute fifties there. So far the only car this weekend to have been able to do so. And we've done it in both races. And now yeah, closing up to the back of Tail Poor Chair. Are we gonna be able to get a run? Out of turn three, they're really trying to launch ourselves to the back of the ART driver. Of course, if we can get top eight as well, those bonus points could be really, really handy come the end of the year in our battle against high tech. As oh, look at that Porsche, yeah, very, very slow on the exit of the hairpin. They're really trying to hold me at bay at the moment, but now DRS enabled for the pair of us as we try and close up to Yuri Vips. But look at the run we've got. On Teo Poor Chair there. He's having to go defensive. Not worried about the slipstream whatsoever. Teo Poor Chair there is pretty even on the brakes we go. And around the outside of yet another car there. Good. Down into Good that job. chicane. Nice Team loving that still. And so are we. I'm in a P9 now. And this could be a three point swing. If we can jump the high tech of Yuri Vips now in front. We've got six laps to do it. Let's get our head down and see what more we can claim. Yuri Vips now right in our line of sight as we start lap 7 of this Grand Prix. Really don't want to waste too much time staring at the Red Bull logos on the back of that thing. We, we battle Red Bull cars in my team. We battle Red Bull cars in F2 as well. There, Hopefully soon we'll be battling Red Bull cars more frequently in the Williams Road to Glory as well. But activate the DRS once more as we head out onto the back straight. I'm still not sure why there's fireworks constantly going on. I've never seen that before. On F1 2021, but are we going to be able to have a look up the inside of Yuri Vips? Big lock up at the rear, but we do just about get it slowed down there. A bit of cadence breaking down into the chicane, and we now move ourselves up into P8 into a points paying position for the first time this weekend. Marcus Armstrong now a second at the road, but Yuri Vips is not done with this just yet. We couldn't quite put the car defensive on him. As all Vips all tries to hang it there, we run very, very deep into the chicane. Got to give him the room now. As, oh, Yuri Vips really not wanting to give up on this. But we do hang on. And we do, yeah, now claim P8 there. Four been a bit laps to go here from the second race of Yas Marina. And now, yeah, Marcus Armstrong, two seconds up the road. Yuri Vips again, though, one lap later trying to close back in on us as we're really not taking much time out of Armstrong and Aitken. Make sure we get the car slowed down into the chicane that time round. But, yeah, we're not closing in much and it's not helping of course no DRS he's just lose so much through the middle sector oh lap nine we were so so close then to get within the one second range of Marcus Armstrong they see we have pulled out one second 
over Yuri Vips behind us, though, so it looks like we're pretty safe at the moment, but every point could matter between now and the end of the year there. Schwartzman's had such a bad weekend up to now that, I mean, yeah, really, we're, we're praying that he hangs on in the feature race. He could be the linchpin in this plan there, of course, yeah, like, he'll be starting on the front row for the feature race tomorrow, but, yeah, we need him to find something in that Prima as well to finish off the year with a bang because of course yeah we're going to be trying to fight our way back from the rear of the field but yeah two laps to go though in this final sprint race of the campaign can we get within the DRS range of Armstrong can we get close enough to even be able to look for a move there we go that's what I love to see another new PB another new fastest lap of the day Finding another half a tenth there is, yeah, we are pushing. Can we get close enough now as we ride through sector one? See, oh, a lot of understeer there, but we get the car rotated through without too much tyre. Scrub gap down to seven tenths. We definitely are going to be within range this time, but I don't think we're going to get close enough to Armstrong. As I say that, we actually gain quite a bit on the brakes down in towards the second back straight. Are we now going to be a bit closer to Mark Armstrong? We definitely are. As we head up in towards the final sector of the penultimate lap. Again, though, not quite close enough to the back of the dams, as that's not going to help either. About to start the final lap, though, of this sprint race, and things are looking pretty good from the championship perspective here. Lawson still down outside the top ten at the moment. Us in P8. Final lap of the race. With the fastest lap, yeah, it should be good enough to wrap up the championship here today but again like I said we want to win the constructors as well you know we want to take both championships come the end of the year there so now can we try and get close enough to Armstrong to maybe just give ourselves that extra couple of points that could make the difference come the end of the campaign launching it down in towards this chicane for the final time here closing up through the hairpin around the outside of Armstrong we try to have a look there and the Ferrari driver academy man won't get the best run as we head out onto the first part of the back straights. Let's see if we're going to be close enough there. Armstrong has been very, very quick down the speed trap all day long there. It's Jack Aitken just a little bit further up the road. But Armstrong aware of us. Going defensive this time round. Can we do the old up and under on the Kiwi man there? As we head out onto the second back straight. And look at that. We've got the power down. We are going to have to be on the outside though. It's going to again be a drag race. The battle of the ponies between myself and Marcus Armstrong there. He hasn't got the DRS though. So that's going to be a nice simple move as we head in towards the final sector of the final lap of sprint race number two there. Do not do what we ended up accidentally doing yesterday here. It's not been the most eventful race in the world this second sprint. We've just picked cars off slowly and surely as the day has gone by there with just a little bit of extra pace in the back pocket there. I think in a similar way to what you'd see Oscar Piastri do in real life but round in the final few corners then of this race Liam Lawson still down outside the top 10 at the moment I think he's down still in about 12th place here round in the final corners Jay Andaruvula takes the dub but we for the first time on F1 2021 are going to become champion you love to see it okay pick up rubber and bring it home It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Carlin today. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance.
After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. On to the teams then. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Meanwhile, Carlin moved up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment when Formula 2 returns. Well, there we go then, guys. Jeanne Ruvula takes home the second sprint race of the weekend. They're in the top four, all exactly where they started come the end of the race. Drogovic for sure. Sato, Tiktum, Aiken, and then we come through for four points with that fastest lap bonus there ahead of Marcus Armstrong. Means, yeah, we'll have to double check the championship, but I'm pretty certain we are F2 champion here. Jury Vips and Teo Porche ran out the top ten, so no points for high tech means we do gain four on them as well. They're in, yeah, Lawson down in p12 then not the race he would have wanted starting from p10 there the only man way off the field again was robert schwartzman who has spent all weekend struggling so far but yeah with one race to go 36 points we have done it champion here in f2 there of course we did it twice with mick schumacher back on f1 2019 and f1 2020 and it's nice to you know with the new faces oscar piastri that we're gonna do it here in f1 2021 as well there lawson though 36 points back it's been a valiant effort from the kiwi and yeah he's certainly driven his heart out this year they're a fantastic job by the young Red Bull-backed man there. Enzo Fittipaldi, the Brazilian, still in P3 there. That's looking set in stone as well, unless Teo Porcher can win the final race with a fastest lap as well there. Aiken and Felipe Drogovic still ahead of Daruvula there, as all three of them tied on 66 points. Both Tridents tied on 74, just in front of them. Pretty much everyone from 7th down, uh, sorry, 6th down even, from Zendeli, has still got a lot to play for in the final race of the year there. I mean, look at that. Jack Aitken down to what? Alessio Deleda, 11th to 18th. All could still swap over in the final races of the year. Now, I'm hoping it's Schwartzman that moves back up the order there. He desperately needs a good race to finish off the year there. But championship-wise, though, high tech, yep, 13 ahead of us as we head into the final race of the year there. ART5 ahead of MP Motorsport, who are a further 11 ahead of Sharuz. It's not looking good for them. Looks like P5 might be all they can get come the end of the year there. Carlin with that good result as well. Now jump past Race Lab and Campos as well there. So they've really had a good turn of form in the last few races of the year there. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, do make sure you leave a like and get yourself subscribed. And yeah, we will be back tomorrow for the final time here to round out the F2 career mode. Can we win the Constructors' Championship? You guys will have to come back and watch. None of these videos would be possible without the help of our channel members. So a massive thank you to all of the names you see on your screens currently for helping support the channel. You can join them by clicking the join button down below. And yeah, thank you once again to everyone that continues all the insane support on my work.